and welcome to this very special episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Now, anybody who's watched my channel knows that I really do love technology and I believe that it really is valuable. However, I'm pretty frugal when it comes to buying new technology, so I don't spend a lot of money on technology. Like, for example, my main laptop right here, it is actually a laptop that I got from a pawn shop. I think I spent maybe $160 to $170.00. This is actually my main laptop that I use for all my work, all the videos that you see. This is my main laptop. Now, I do have a secondary laptop that I have Kubuntu Linux on, but both of them, they're very modest in terms of their power, and in some cases, they're really underpowered for certain types of things. And so with that being said, I really want to first thank my brother. My brother, Ken, is the one who basically got all these parts for me that we're going to be using to be building this monster Linux PC. And... In the future, my brother will also be offering his, basically his skills uh, to people who are interested. So what he did was he spends a lot of time looking for really good deals on parts for a PC. And on top of it, he knows what hardware is good. So he got me this Evga power supply, which is 550 watt. And he also got me a very, very special case, which you see when I do the unboxing. And he was able to save me, let me see, this is like $80 retail. He got it for me for about $50. And this case is about $90 retail. He was able to get it for me for about $70. So those are some amazing deals. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to also leave a list of all of these parts that I'm using and also my experience in building this on my website. So I will leave that in the links below and you could follow me there as I'm getting each part and as I'm building everything. So the whole purpose of having this desktop is the fact that I really do need more power you know uh, not only for the videos that you see that I do YouTube but I do do client work and I need something that's more substantial and also this will be a Linux PC first and foremost you know for all the people who watch my channel they know I love Linux but in terms of some of the client work that I do it does require that I use Adobe products so that means I'm gonna have to use Windows 10 even though I'm not the biggest fan of it However, what I'm going to do with this machine is since it is going to be a desktop, I am going to put my whole Linux OS on one hard drive and I will get a secondary hard drive to put the Windows 10 operating system so that I can run Adobe products. So for all you people who know that I love Linux, don't worry, Linux is still going to be my main machine, but I need Windows in order for me to run Adobe products for my business. And so um, with that being said, let's go ahead and head over to this very first unboxing of my upcoming Monster Linux PC build. Okay, let's start off with the Evga Supernova power supply. This is a 550 watt gold power supply, so this should last me a long time for whatever chipset that I get. So let me see, not much here in the packaging. Evga, as you know, is a pretty, pretty popular brand when it comes to PCs. So let's see where we open this at. Okay, so right here's the tape. Got a trusty scissors. Nothing really cool there. Let's see if I can open that right here. Remove that tape. Okay, so I got the tape off. Uh, let's go ahead and just open this. Let's see what we have in the box. All right. So, instruction manual right there. And this is a uh, modular design for the power supply, so it does give you more customization and flexibility. So power cables. Oh, there's a lot of them right here. Check this out. Wow. So, quite a bit of stuff right there. So, okay. Screws. It's going to go on the board itself, on your motherboard. And there's also going to be definitely some cable management here. So that would be nice. And here's the actual, well, there's more stuff here, more cables, actual power supply. Wow, this is a heavy power supply. So let, let me tell you another thing as well. On these cables, you know, uh, cable management is going to be very important is when it, you're building your own PC. And I like how they uh, mark the cables for CPU, um, PSU, and so forth. And so 
this thing is going to be pretty clean whenever you put this all together. So one of the big things whenever you're building a PC, it could sometimes gets really, really messy uh, inside your case. So let's go ahead and set this aside really quick and let's just check out this actual power supply itself. Okay, so if you're like me, you're the type of person who doesn't like to upgrade very often. So my brother picked out something that would last me for a very long time and it'll work on multiple chipsets. Wow, this thing is heavy. Uh, and I don't mean that in a bad way. That means this is solidly built. There you go, the Supernova 550, 550 watts. Should be able to handle any upcoming CPU for a while, at least for me. And here it is right there. Big fan underneath. Really solidly built. This is not the cheap power supplies that you get on pre-built PCs. This is a beast. And there are all the connections that I talked about earlier. I put them back in a box, but I like how they mark everything for you. So it makes it a lot easier for you to know where things go. So that is the 550 watt EVGA power supply that's going to be powering my whole machine. So really, really happy about that. Solid build. Uh, this will last me for a while. So let's go ahead and move over to the mystery case below. Okay, so let's check out the case that we have. This is going to be a big one. So let's open this up. Now this is a case by Nwin and that's also another popular brand. And my brother picked out something pretty special for me knowing the type of designs that I like. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, lots of styrofoam. And this is a pretty uh, heavy case, at least for me. So let's remove this. So I'm going to take this out of the box and flip it on its vertical side. Okay, about to unwrap it. And this is what you actually get in the box. It's the 303 case. It's got all your screws, instruction and everything. So this will definitely be important whenever you're putting it together. So let's unveil this case. This is actually a mid-tower case. And, um, and I like this already. It's substantial. Let's see. Here's the un official unveiling of the case. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is one sexy looking case. So you can tell this is actually tempered glass. You can actually see the inside of your components. This is actually, it looks to be a screwless entry. I'll have to play around with it to see, but check that out i love this this is the in win case all white uh, one of the things that i really love about uh, my hardware and even my software i'm a minimalist so i don't like to have a lot of clutter and this is awesome so power supply there it's got looks like four usb ports it looks like two of them it's going to be usb 3.0 your audio ports right here and then if you look over here in this side like I said, it looks like it's screwless, so you, you could just take these out. I uh, like that nice little honeycomb design right there. And here is the back of it. So it looks like it's got plenty of space for me. So, you know, we've got plenty of uh, slots right here. I could add multiple cards here. And, you know, my uh, power supply is going to be up here, and then my motherboard is going to be right here. So... It's going to have plenty for what I need and way more than what I would get if I would have bought a pre-built machine at the store. And I got to come back to this tempered case. Look at that. That is so cool. And so um, you'll be able to see all your components running. And, you know, it just really serves no purpose other than looking absolutely cool. So let me see if I could remove this and so I could look inside the panel it itself. Okay, so there's a little lever right here when you push it down and then you just 
pops right off and there is that is so nice and easy so that reminds me so much of how things have changed since I built PCs because everything is just way more cooler and way more accessible so I'm gonna try to get a closer shot of the insides of this okay so once you open this right here wow the case comes right off really really nice design very spacious in here and like I said plenty of room for you to expand this machine very clean and I absolutely love this white color I'm glad he got me the white color instead of the black and so I really look forward to getting this thing built and it's just a beautiful machine and it's perfect for the type of PC design that I would like and this is so much different from when I last built a PC because when I last built a PC it really was back when I was still using uh, Windows and so um, I'm, for reference I'm going to go to my old Windows Vista machine. So here is a side by side comparison of how cases used to look and I know they had better designs than this but for the most part design wasn't really a high point of it and here with the brand new case you have not only design but function everything is just a lot easier a lot sleeker so I really really can't wait to get this started but so far I am super happy uh, once again thanks to my brother for choosing this and putting it all together and uh, this is going to be one beastly machine so that's it for this very first unboxing of my upcoming Linux monster PC build got the power supply and the absolutely beautiful case so like I said look for some upcoming episodes where I'm putting this all together and like I said if you wanted to know the parts list and also my experience with building this you could also head to my website below at geekoutdoors.com I will leave a link in the description below and if you had any ideas comments you know leave them there in the comments area below and of course if you did like these videos you found value be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget I am on Snapchat at Geek Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.